miniature steam in Thorns Park, Wakefield. It was a lovely day today and I just fancied getting out of the workshop so I went along to Thorns Park to watch all the miniature steam locomotives running. And there was quite a good collection today, mainly narrow gauge and some are so big like this one you can sit inside it. And other small locomotives like this one are closer to scale. As a lot of regular viewers of my channel will already know I have a very modest 7.25 inch gauge line around my house but it's nowhere near as good as this railway. And there are no prizes for guessing who owns this locomotive. This belongs to Philip from Blackgates Engineering and it's an excellent example of a Sweet William locomotive. Very well made. And I think Philip must have some shares in a wingnut company. The engine runs as well as it looks and it's a very nice example of a Sweet William. I bought the castings a few years ago and started building one of these and I built the rolling chassis and I got the boiler for it. But for some reason I stalled. I was very busy doing other things at that time. Very busy at work. So I sold it and I regret it now because it would have run around my garden railway very well. In this clip I'm temporarily playing the part of guard and I'm sat right at the back of the train on the last truck. And I'm sorry that all you can see is Philip's back. I did ask him if he'd turn round but he seemed to think that wasn't a good idea. There was only one standard gauge locomotive at the track today and this is a beautiful example of a standard gauge locomotive. Just look at the detail on the back head. I work on quite a lot of steam engines these days, mainly stationary engines. This is very high quality model engineering. My preferences lie in standard gauge locomotives because they're the ones I remember when I was a child as I was brought up just over the road from a railway station. Oh and look, the driver is using an adjustable spanner. I wonder if that's where I get the habit from. I used to run miniature steam locomotives on a regular basis at one time. Here's Philip once again with his sweet William and the gentleman sat on the tender is Philip's father and I remarked that I didn't think he was old enough to be Philip's father. Sorry about that Phil. You don't look that old honestly. Honestly you don't. And for any viewers who don't know much about steam locomotives, no this man is not filling it up with petrol. He's filling the side water tanks with water. I'm going to conclude this short video with a slideshow. This slideshow and all the video within the presentation was recorded using my Panasonic Lumix GH4 camera. It makes a change to be out in the fresh air, well I mean apart from when I ride my bike. And it was very enjoyable filming these engines today. So thanks for watching. Well it's not been very useful to the engineering enthusiasts, but thanks for watching anyway. <laughs>